Jaden Daniels has proven to be exactly who the commanders expected. After they brought in Cliff Kingsbury to be the new offensive coordinator and brought in veteran Marcus Mariota to be the backup, it was blatant that they were going to use the second overall pick on Daniels due to his dual threat skills and ability to create explosive plays. Daniels rushed for 1,134 yards on the ground and touchdowns in 2023 while counting for an absurd 90 plays of 20 plus yards. On the first day of the mandatory minicamp, Daniels flashed his running ability that general manager Adam Peters once said, quote, takes your soul as a defense, end quote. On fourth and medium near midfield during a two-minute drill yesterday, the commanders trailed 21 to 20 and had to get into field goal range. Daniels rolled right, found a seam, and picked up the first down. He was able to give his team a chance at a long field goal with two seconds left. Nobody is higher though on Daniels than his teammate Terry McLaurin who had this to say, quote, he's going to be a really good player because of the time and the work that he puts in, McLaurin said. I don't think I've had a young quarterback that really has come in within the first week. He's like, hey, can we practice this route or let me get this rep after practice? It's exciting for me because that opens the door to communicate and quote. We've also seen Nick Allergetti who's a new guard for the team. And we've also seen Bobby Wagner, who's been in this league for a long time, both absolutely raving about Daniels being the first player into the facility, working out or to be watching film. Remember, he's just 23 years old, a rookie in the NFL, and he's getting there before guys like Jonathan Allen, Allegretti, and Bobby Wagner. I mean, it is truly remarkable. Here's what Allegretti had to say about Daniels, quote, he's around the facility a lot. He's talking and getting along with all the guys, but he's not a super loud personality yet. He's taking it in a way that I think a lot of rookies should. Feeling it out, feeling what his role is, and then when he's on the field, stepping up in that leadership role, end quote. It's clear that the commanders are in a rebuild, but I don't think it will last for long. Daniel's exceptional accuracy, decision making, and speed at 6'4 makes him have unlimited potential and we know how clutch he is with the game on the line. Plus the team has one of the best minds in all of football, controlling the front office in Peters. Let's take a look at the moves he's made so far in the offseason. He drafted Johnny Newton. Daniels, Luke McCaffrey, he signed Bobby Wagner, Austin Eckler, Frankie Louvu, Jeremy Chin, and Zach Ertz. Half of the commander's roster consists of new players, and according to head coach Dan Quinn, quote, there's still a lot of experimentation to go, the fits, the people, the techniques, that's kind of what this is about. There will be some times when you may see, well, that wasn't a good play or a good completion, but there's still information to find out, and quote. The commander's spring philosophy has been, let's try stuff. Coaches have put players in new roles and new positions. Emmanuel Forbes Jr., for example, caught punts. Luke McCaffrey practiced taking handoffs, the former college quarterback for three years. He's now a receiver and he's taking handoffs. So you can see that this team is getting very creative. We also saw 11 players returning kicks. And at one point, the first team linebackers paired with the fourth string defensive backs. There was also a number of combinations at safety. Percy Butler, Quan Martin, Jeremy Chin. We even saw Dirk Forrest and others. Guys are just all over the place, including the offensive line. But the biggest takeaway from yesterday's camp was simply Jaden Daniels and how fantastic he looked in 11 on 11 drills. But it's also the fact that he's taking all of the first team reps. In previous weeks, Marcus Mariota was taking most of them. Now it's just Ricky Daniels, which goes to show that he is much farther ahead than we thought. And we thought he would be well, really far ahead because most analysts had him as the most ready to go quarterback in the draft, even over Caleb Williams. And then the tape showed that. But Daniels is actually even on a higher trajectory than we thought. And that's great news for the commanders because if you look at the Houston Texans last season, they won what, three games? And then the next season, they won 10 games. New head coach, defensive mind, new quarterback, going out there and bringing in free agents and hitting the draft well. This draft class ultimately will determine the future for the commanders. And I love this draft class. They had a ton of day two picks, and I thought they used them well. I'm super excited for this Washington team, especially because I've been covering the NFL for about two years now. And the commanders at one point were my most viewed team. Crazy, right?
the commanders. They haven't had a lot of success the past couple of decades, but that's all about to change thanks to this young man out of LSU and Jane Daniels won the Heisman last year. The thing that I was concerned about was the offensive line and the weapons for him on the outside. But the commanders have actually addressed that. Of course, they go out there and they get Tyler Biotish. Sam Cosby is extremely underrated. Nick Largetti, Brandon Coleman at left tackle, Andrew Wiley at right tackle, former chief. He's raved about Daniel saying that he just loves blocking for him. And I mean, they've only been together a couple of months at this point. Zach Ertz and Senate, of course, was what a fourth round pick that they used on him. Uh, yet, uh, actually, he was a second round pick. Pick 53. I don't know why I thought he was a pick later than that. But yeah, very overall balanced tight end to pair with Ertz. So good offense receivers. Terry McLaurin's one of the best receivers in the NFL. He's only 28 years old at this point. I mean, the dude has not been in the league for that long. Um, he was drafted in 2019. Yeah, he's 28 years old. Terry's a great route runner, explosive too. The question is, what do you get outside of him? Jahan Dotson, I need to see a leap out of him. Deami Brown and Olamai Zacchaeus were getting some big time reps yesterday in practice, but that was mainly just to put them into situations to where they're gonna be ready to go. Uh, Luke McCaffrey is a guy that I expect to be the wide receiver two of this team, which I know might sound kind of crazy, but it really shouldn't if you've been following the team. I think McCaffrey is going to be the clear cut wide receiver too. He's also gonna get handoffs and catch pass out of the backfield. But I mean, McCaffrey is, we're gonna get in him a little bit more in depth later on in this video, but keep an eye on him. He's actually the player that I'm most excited for in this entire rookie class for the commanders. Not to say Jane Daniels isn't electric because he is, but I think Luke McCaffrey is gonna be an absolute star in this league and I'm, I'll get in him later. But I also live in Houston, so he went to Rice, so I'm kind of hoping he works out. But I mean, I guess we'll get into McCaffrey right now. Why not? So take a look at this. So 60.7 contested catch rate, 17 contested catches, the second most, 82.7 receiving grade, 97th percentile against zone coverage, 81st percentile in separation percentage versus single coverage. Now you have to understand that he played quarterback for three years and he recently just transformed into a receiver so it's going to take time for him to learn this position but the fact that he's so new to it and he's already shown that he's got a ton of flashes he can break tackles he can go up and get it really any part of the field whether it be deep intermediate and it just doesn't matter his route running is only going to improve his hands are only going to improve and the fact that he played quarterback he's going to be able to read the coverage a lot better than the majority of receivers so there's just a lot to like about McCaffrey the genes as well his brother's Christian McCaffrey, one of the best running backs of all time. I'm not even going to lie. I mean, McCaffrey is literally one of the best running backs that the league of football has ever seen because of his dual threat ability to catch it and to run. And the size, 6'2", 198 is incredible for a receiver. I mean, I just cannot wait to watch this guy play football. I'm completely bought into him. I'm not going to say he's the next Puka Nakua. I think he's more of a Jacoby Myers from the tape, but... He does have the potential to put up a thousand yards as a rookie and man would that be big for the commanders this is a team that hasn't had a winning season since 2016. they made the postseason just six times since 1999. that means since i've been alive this team has made the playoffs six times i'm 25. 